Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you good luck for Galaxy Note 10. In the previous video, I showed you how to get it and today I'm going to show you what this app can do. And the first thing what it can do is look here at the notification center. You see it's blurred. It's not dark anymore. You see it has some blur. Uh, if you open your device, then you'll see it. or you have here full white or full black. Another thing it can do is your quick draw apps you can change it as you wish let's close everything actually not let's go straight to the app and these are the first thing you can change quick star is your notification center this is my customized one if i press on it and hold then i have the option to edit but let's disable it for now and let me show you how it is it's fully white, there is no transparency. Let's enable it and there is transparency. Look here at the top, everywhere there is transparency. Let's press on it, hold and edit it. And here are the things that you can edit. You can edit how these colors from the icons are. I choose blue, but you can use red. The red, red, you see red, then the ones that you are not using for example, these ones that I'm not using, you can choose green, for example. Then you can choose your font color to be, I don't know, purple. You see your font color is purple. Here the panel BG Alpha, this is your transparency. If you have less, then you have gonna have less transparency, of course. I use it all the way to the maximum. And here on the blur effect, I use to level 2. Because if I put to level 5, uh, then it will be a little too much blur, so my favorite is two. Uh, I'm not gonna save this one. Let me show you on my on my own. So this is mine, and if I choose here no blur effect, then your notification center is just gonna be transparent without blur. Actually, I see here some blur. What happened? Oh, I didn't apply. <laughs> Let's apply, and now you see it's transparent and not blurred anymore well this is also fine it's better than having fully black or fully white um, but like i've said i like to have blur and level two let's put level five apply and you see it, it's too much blur you almost can't see under the notification center so like i've said i like to use two apply so oh uh, well this also might happen sometimes uh, when you apply too many, too many times the same team, then it will not allow you. Well, at this point, I have to just restart my phone for this option to work again. But you got an idea. And here you have visibility of indicator icons. You can, for example, mobile di data signal disable it. You see it at the top, it went away. But of course, you would want that. But some options that you might not want to appear at the top, you can disable it from here. Then another cool feature that I like here is the clock position. You see the clock on these new Android versions, they moved it to the left, but previously it was on the right, so you can put it to the right as it was previously, or hide it completely. Well, uh, I will keep it on the left for now, but you can choose left or right. And in some devices, you might as well choose in the middle. Uh, on my Galaxy S8 Plus, I could choose to have it on the middle, but here, how is the camera on the middle well you can't really choose middle quick star is my favorite option from this good luck another favorite option from good luck is task changer which i showed you at the beginning is how smooth it is how different it is and it has some blurriness let's disable it this is a normal task changer from samsung it's not bad but you don't have any blurriness, you just have fully transparency. With it, you have blurriness already. Uh, and it looks cool, it looks different. Here on the layout, you can choose many different things. Let's go into the list. You can choose like this. Grid. This is also one that I like a lot. Let's actually open more things camera, contacts, and now you can see fully 
a lot of apps. Then you have Carousel. This is like a default one, but you have you see it's a bit of Carousel right there. But this reminds me the default one, so I don't really like it. Uh, I like your Slim. I don't really like it, uh, but there might be some people who like this one. I like as well Vertical Stack, which uh, this is a bit more like on iPhones. But well, if you like, you can choose, of course. Uh, I like the first one a lot, and you see here blur background effect. If I disable it, then uh, I don't have any I don't have any blurriness. So if you don't like blurriness, then uh, well, you can disable it. That's the best part of this app. You can just disable things and enable as you want. Then Multistar, well, I don't use it. You see, it's uh, all disabled. And Naughty Star, I also don't use it. I didn't even install it. Here into Family, you have more options. Uh, theme Park, I didn't install it, uh, you see here, you see this icon right here, this blue icon. This means that these three apps are installed, this one doesn't have the icon, so it's not installed. And in this side, I didn't install any. A nice catch, uh, well, if you want to know more about your phone, or especially what's vibrating on your phone daily, then you can install this app and you see um, vibration history. I don't really need that so I didn't install it. Then you have One Hand Operation Plus. I don't really need this as well so didn't install it. And you have Edge Lightning Plus. The options that Samsung already brings with the phone are more or less the same that are here so I didn't see like any difference but there might be differences of course. Then Edge Touch is how big you want to be the point where you open your fast toggles and then sound assistant but by this way you choose what's best for you and it definitely looks cleaner and cooler enough for this video thank you guys for watching if you found this video useful don't forget to leave that big like down below and i see you on the next one